Hey guys, this is Josh here from Photo Booth International. Uh, today we're going to cover the DMP RX1. We're going to do some troubleshooting uh, tips and tricks, and we're going to show you how to load it up. Okay, so this is a fresh RX1 uh, right out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and peel the uh, blue tape off. Okay, this is your catch tray. This is where the uh, scraps go whenever the printer cuts your ink and uh, cuts your pictures. Okay, once we open it here, you're gonna notice this pink piece of foam. Okay, as you can see on here, it says required for transportation. So make sure whenever you're transporting your printer to and from your event, you make sure to have this in. It actually pr uh, protects the print head that's in here, which is uh, spring loaded. So all you have to do is just place this foam right here and you close it up you got to give it a little push so it catches and now that printer head is not swinging as you're transporting your printer okay so i'm going to go ahead and open it up we're going to take this out for now and i'm going to load up the ink and paper now in order to do this you're going to make sure your printer is on you got a green light here and uh, i'm going to take a uh, roll of ink and i'm going to put the uh, plastic end caps on it now, if you are running into issues where your printer is um, jamming up every so often or every other photo, you want to make sure that there's no gaps in between this area right here, uh, in between the paper and the plastic end cap. That will cause uh, jamming issues. Okay, so make sure you pop in the uh, end caps, make sure there's no gaps in there. It's pushed in tightly. Okay, so that looks good. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in the paper. Just like that. Okay, and, and the roller is gonna go forward. The next step is, you follow the arrow, it says paper insert. So I'm just gonna insert it in there and it's gonna go forward, not down. Once it goes forward through the first um, uh, uh, piece right here, it's gonna go down. And as you can see this arrow here, it's gonna go down, then you're gonna listen for the beep. If you're at an event, it's gonna be really loud, so you, you gotta get really close, and you're gonna hear the two beeps, okay? If you don't hear it, take it out again, and keep trying until you hear the beep. Next thing we're gonna load is the ribbon. Okay, you have your ribbon here. This is a, a used roll that we're using for this uh, demo. So what you wanna always do is match up the yellow to the yellow. Okay, so you're gonna put the top piece in, pop that down, bottom piece, pop that in there. And the, these arrows are right here. A lot of people don't notice it, but these arrows are right here to give you the direction as to which way the ribbon needs to roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the, the ribbon. Okay. And the ink and paper doesn't have to sink. So um, if you ever add a gig and the ink rips, you know, if it rips on here, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, and you need to um, fix it, the ink and paper doesn't have to sync up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. All right, and it's gonna do a few cuts to line up the ink and paper. Okay, perfect. Now you're ready for your gig. All right, now the next thing we're gonna cover is, is if you do get an ink uh, rip in your paper. This could be caused by if a gas pulls it out or sometimes if there's a jam. Um, so what's gonna happen is once you open this, this area right here will either be melted or it would be ripped. So for these purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and rip it. Okay, now you can still save this. This is the great part about this video. We're going to teach you how to save it. So what you want to do, once again, make sure you're rolling uh, direction off the arrows. So I'm going to roll the top one like that, and I'm going to take the bottom one, and I'm going to roll it under and over the top. Okay, so just and roll it a couple of times just to make sure it's tight and now you've fixed your ink and paper tear 
Now the the other thing to do is once you once you fixed it, you want to go ahead and take this out, and you want to roll up your paper backwards. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to just lift it up and put it back in. What this does is this resets the printer system. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and thread it through again. Down, wait for the beeps. There we go. And plug in the the ribbon. Okay, roll it up. Just make sure it's just a little tight. And now it's going to reset the printer, and um, you should be ready to print at your gig. These are just scrap pieces of paper. What it's doing is it, it's lining it up and cutting out any fingerprints that may have gotten on it. Okay, so now you're ready to rock and roll. Um, the other problem that you may have is if your printer is not printing from your software, you want to make sure to plug in your printer to the correct USB every time. So if you plug it into a different USB on your computer, it is going to create a duplicate printer. At that point, you would need to go back into your software and select the duplicate printer so that the software is printing to the right printer. Um, that's going to be it for your printer um, uh, tips and tricks today. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 855-474-6868 or you can check us out at photoboothint.com. Thank you.